Well, good morning there. I'm Nuts the Squirrel, and I'm just welcoming you to the language class, second grade at Cold Spring School. So, today I'm going to help you review a little bit about dictionaries. Y'all remember what a dictionary is? Let me just show you a dictionary. Dictionary, please! Oh, that's a dictionary. Now, this is kind of an old dictionary, but it's a dictionary nonetheless. Now, let's just, I'm going to step aside, and we're going to open up that dictionary and talk about it just a little bit. All right, here is a dictionary. Now, that's the inside of a dictionary. There's a picture of a, oh, it's a koala bear. Well, anyway, a dictionary lists a whole bunch of words. And those words, beside them, it tells how to say them. That's called the pronunciation. And then it tells, right there, see that? That tells you how to say kneecap. And there's the entry word, kneecap. Now, there's all entry words all down that page. Now, up at the top of the word, at the top of the page, that is, we have some things that are some words on each side of the page, and those are called guide words, okay? They're guide words, and they tell us what words are going to be on that page because we know if a word is in A, B, C order, if it comes after knapsack, then it could be on that page, but it has to come before known to be on that page. So that's what our guide words are for. Now, let's see what else we know about a dictionary. Hmm. So a dictionary tells us the pronunciation, how to say the word, and then it tells us uh, what part of speech that the word is. If it's a noun or, or if it's a verb or an adjective or an adverb. So that's what it tells us too, what part of speech. And a dictionary tells us the definition of a word. So knapsack, the definition is a usually canvas or leather bag or case strapped on the back and used especially for supplies as on a hike. So that tells us what the word means. It tells us the definition of the word. So dictionaries are pretty interesting books. They tell us about lots of different words. So that tells you some more about a dictionary, some stuff that we've already learned, right? But that you're just reviewing a little bit this morning. Now we also learned about another, uh, another kind of book that tells us stuff yesterday in language class, and so I'm going to let my friend Snowball remind you what that is. Snowball! Well, good morning class. This is Snowball. Y'all remember me? And I'm just here to remind you about a kind of book we learned about yesterday in language class. So let me call for the card, please. Card, please! Oh, there it is. And that word is glossary. So yesterday we learned about a book called a glossary. Do y'all remember what a glossary is? A glossary gives us more information about something we've been learning about in the book already. So we learned about Hmm. In our language books, let's say, we had a glossary, and a glossary gives us more information. It tells us more things about stuff we've already been learning about in our language book. So let's go over and review the glossary in our language book. Glossary! Glossary! Did anyone hear me call for the glossary? Oh, there it is. All right, here's the glossary in your language book. 
And you'll see it is on page uh, 341 in your language books, at least if it's the same as this book here. So the glossary is also has everything lifted, listed in A, B, C order. There we have A's, and here we have A's, and then we go to B's. And if we keep turning the pages, it will tell, keep listing things in A, B, C order. So all these things in our glossary tell us more information about things we've learned about already in our language book this year. So a glossary gives a lot of helpful information, and the entries are all listed in A, B, C order. All right, thank you, Snowball, for telling us about the glossary. You're welcome. And that's all we have for today. Uh, we're going to turn the time back over to Miss Brittany. So go ahead and get out a piece of scrap paper. And she's going to have some things for you to write down. Goodbye. Adios. All right, thank you, Snowball and Nuts, the squirrel, for telling us about those things. Now, good morning, class, and um, go ahead and get out a piece of paper, and I'm going to go over some um, things with you that have some little review for you to do, some exercises. So go ahead and get out your piece of paper and your pencil. Okay, so... Remember that if I'm going too fast, at any time, you can simply stop the video and write the word that I was telling you to write. So for the first one, I want you to write a word that rhymes with where. Okay, here's the word where, W-E-A-R. And that word where means to wear a jacket or um, like the clothes that I wear, okay? So go ahead and write a word that rhymes with wear. Okay, well, hopefully you've thought of a word that rhymes with wear. Um, I can think of one now, it could be bear. Or the other where, like where are you going, or there, there, uh, like over there is a tree. Alright, now the next one I'd like you to do is write a rhyming word for the word flash. Okay, here's the word flash. Write a word that rhymes with flash. Okay, remember you can pause the video if you're not done yet. So a word that rhymes with flash could be bash. It could be mash, like I'm going to mash the potatoes. Or it could be splash. Those are all words that rhyme with flash. They all end with the ash sound. Okay, so a, a word that rhymes is going to end with the same sounds as the word before it. All right, so write our rhyming words in. Now, I have another word for you. And this word, do you know what this word is? Woman, right? The word is woman. And so I would like you to write the opposite of woman. Okay, what is the opposite or the antonym of woman? Do y'all know what that would be? Okay, the opposite of woman is man. The opposite of woman is man. Man is actually part of the word woman. Woman, man. Okay? Okay, and what is the opposite or the antonym of sitting? The opposite or the antonym of sitting? Okay, so the one that I have is standing. If I'm not 
sitting, then I'm standing. That is the opposite of sitting. Okay, very well. Now, I'm going to move on to some contractions. So here is the first one. I would like you to write the contraction for has not. Okay, what is the contraction for has not? Remember a contraction is two small words that we stick together and we leave some letters out and replace those letters with an apostrophe. What is the contraction for has not? All right, the contraction for has not, we write the whole first word, has, and then whenever we add not, we leave out the O, so we add N apostrophe T. Hasn't, okay? He has not gone to bed yet. He hasn't gone to bed yet. Okay, write the contraction for she will. She will. What is the contraction for she will? All right, the contraction for she will is she'll. For will, we leave out the W and the I. She'll. She will go to bed soon. She'll go to bed soon. And one more, write the contraction for he is. He is. All right, we leave out the F, the I on he is. He is going to bed soon. He's going to bed soon. Okay, good job. Now, I would like you to write the abbreviation. Do you remember what an abbreviation is? Okay, see if you can remember. I want you to write the abbreviation for Friday. Write the abbreviation for Friday. An abbreviation, if you've forgotten, is a short form of a word. Okay, the abbreviation for Friday is the first three letters and then a period. Capital F R I period. Friday becomes Fry. And that is the abbreviation. Write the abbreviation for the word gallon. Do y'all remember that one? If you don't remember, make a good guess. Okay, what's the abbreviation for gallon? What do you think it would be if you aren't sure? Okay, the abbreviation for gallon is gal, G-A-L, period. And it's not a proper noun, so we don't capitalize it. Okay, write the abbreviation for year. Now this one is a little bit different. Okay, year. Do you remember what the abbreviation for year is? Or what do you think it would be? Okay, so the abbreviation for year, instead of taking the first several letters, we actually take the first and the last letter and do YR period. So sometimes abbreviations do that. They take, um, they, they don't just do the first three or first four letters. Sometimes they take the first and the last letter, like in doctor, that would be DR. Very good, all right, thank you for writing those down. Now, here's another one for you. Write the compound word sunshine. What is the, com write the compound word sunshine. Compound word is two smaller words put together to make one big word. Sunshine. Okay, here is the compound word sunshine. It's okay if you weren't quite finished. You can just finish writing it down. Sunshine. There's the compound word. See our two little words? We have sun and we have shine. Okay, here's another one. Write the compound word rainbow. Rainbow. Okay, here it is. If you didn't finish, just go ahead and write it down now. We have rain. R-A-I-N, that's like rain that comes down, rain-bow, B-O-W, 
O-W, rainbow. That's a compound word that has two smaller words in it. Very good. And, hmm, let's do this one for fun. Write the word peppers. Peppers. Okay, here is the word peppers. I'm going to write it right up here on the board. P E P P E R S. Peppers. We have a short vowel word, pep, and then if, if we're going to add a suffix er, we need to double the p. Peppers. Okay, very good. Ah, uh, let me see here. What else you have for today? All right, so on page 323 today, you are going to be um, putting some words in alphabetical order or in ABC order. So remember, you start by looking at the first letter of the word, and if they match, then you go to the second letter of the word. So you guys have been doing that last week. So that's what you'll be doing again today. So that's for section number one. For section number two, use the glossary in the back of, hmm, you know what, let me look into that one. So you're going to be using the glossary and, let's see here, that will be, okay, you know what, I think you will be skipping section number two today. So section number two, you will skip because you don't have that book. It is um, saying you need a different kind of book for that. So skip section number two, so you get off a little easier. Okay, so before I, before I close up this video, I'm going to see if you can write you still have your scrap paper handy? Okay, so write the sentence, I'll help Grandma carry her bags to the car. I'll help Grandma carry her bags to the car. Alright, if you're not done yet, you can pause the video and finish writing the sentence. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and write it up here. I'll help Grandma, Grandma carry her bags. To the car. Okay, so that was a big sentence to write. All right, very good, class. Y'all have a good Tuesday, and let's see, this afternoon I get to have your books back, and I'll score, be scoring those for you, so um, I'll probably be seeing your moms, hopefully. So anyways, y'all have a great day, and I love you and I miss you.